Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Thursday morning, it is the 25th day of January. Time as I make this is 4.10 a.m. Boy, I've got a lot to talk about. Let me try to stay on track. First of all, the Montgomery Airport has had, uh, as of 3 a.m., 2.23 inches in the last 24 hours. I haven't checked the last hour. We're after four now. Uh, but uh, yeah, over, you know, so about a two and a quarter inches so far. Today, we could easily add one and a half to two inches in many areas. Over the next few days through Saturday, we could easily add more than four additional inches. So uh, you do the math. I mean, that's way over six inches uh, the possibility. So today is a stronger storm system. Uh, in that there'll be, of course, locally heavy rainfall, as I mentioned, but also a marginal severe weather risk, level, level one, and primarily, I think, this afternoon. And the main threat would be damaging wind gusts. You can't rule out an isolated tornado, but primarily a damaging wind gust situation, level one out of five on the marginal severe weather risk. We have another storm system that will affect mainly the southern half of the state tomorrow with more showers and storms. But it's the one on Saturday, and you and I were talking about this yesterday, uh, is, a, is a stronger storm system. Saturday is the caboose, the end, the last one. And uh, it's got a level two severe weather risk now for a lot of us. And frequently that involves a tornado watch. So this will be Saturday. And locally heavy rainfall amounts with that Saturday system as well. So this is going to be a major weather situation. Speaking of numbers... Yesterday's high temperature was 74. This is just hard for me to process when we were in the Arctic uh, freezer for several days. And yesterday, 74, and today, 75. Uh, short sleeve weather, lows at night in the 60s, just unbelievable. So the storm systems parade through until Saturday. Then on Sunday, I think it's a cloudy day. I think it's much cooler. I think we're in the middle 50s on Saturday. Uh, on Sunday, I should say, this is Sunday. Sunday, we're dry and much cooler. And that will continue on Monday and Tuesday as well. Then we'll start to recover later on next week. You'll see all the graphics below. Uh, in the uh, And I've been working hard for you for the last few hours uh, producing all of this. Uh, you'll see the 10-day temperature outlook. You'll also see the European out 16 days. And so far, the Arctic floodgates are closed. You'll also see the expected rainfall and the severe weather outlooks for today and for Saturday. Plus, future radar, which looks very colorful, it's going to rain. Take it to the bank. All right, this morning, everything is normal, including live on the radio, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 WACV. Your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations. There'll be another update for you first thing tomorrow morning, and uh, usually that's in the 4 o'clock hour. And uh, let's see, what else am I, I guess that's about it. Uh, stay weather aware, and I'll keep you up to date on what's going on, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Last time I checked, our free weather app was on over 150,000 phones just here in the river region. It's going to be your best friend in this very active weather situation with a parade of storm systems, radar, future radar, instant push notifications for severe weather alerts, hourly forecasts, 10-day forecasts, access to all my uh, tweets or X's, whatever you want to call them, and uh, plus videos and blog updates as well, and a whole lot more. Go to the App Store. It's free. Just search Rich Thomas Weather. Rich.